Before becoming a biology teacher, I was a journalist. And during that time, I got to interview some very famous, very influential individuals. I always asked them at least one question about biology, just to see what they would say. Here are some of their responses. Let's start with the big guys, the presidents. A short time ago, during his campaign, I got to sit down with President Obama and ask him a few questions about biology. Let's take a look. Mr. President, how do you distinguish between what it means to be living versus what it means to be non-living? Well, I, I think uh, it's important uh, to distinguish between... Uh... Thank you, Mr. President. Thanks. Maybe former President George W. Bush has thought about it a little more. Former President Bush, how do you define living? Let's see if Bella from Twilight can clue us in. After all, she has taken a biology class. Bella, you've taken a biology class before. What does it mean to be living? Um, yeah, it's complicated. Well, that's true, Bella, but I'm still not satisfied. Let's see what South Park's Eric Cartman has to say when I asked him, how do you define biology? Eric, how do you define biology? No, or, or don't, or ecosystem. Moving on. Maybe we're barking up the wrong tree, so to speak. Maybe an animal can better dissect the question, what does it mean to be living? What does biology mean to you, keyboard cat? Not so much. Maybe the cast of The Office can provide us some insight into biology. Let's take a look. Michael Scott, what's your take on biotechnology and where it's taken us? I only give my organs to my real friends. Well, get yourself a monkey kidney. Okay. Dwight Schrute, what's important for us to know about living things? Rule 17. Don't turn your back on bears, men you have wronged, or the dominant turkey during mating season. There are 40 rules all Schrute boys must learn before the age of five. Learn your rules. You better learn your rules. If you don't, you'll be eaten in your sleep. <laughs> I had the opportunity to sit down with Justin Timberlake and see if he could sort it out. May I call you JT? Thank you. What is biology? Uh, I have no idea what you're talking about. Justin, what makes something living? I don't know. I don't know. We have to talk to somebody about that. Okay. Family Guy's Peter Griffin is a man of few words, so I let him express his understanding of biology using a demonstration. Let's take a look. I caught you a bullfrog outside. Poked some holes in its back so it can breathe. See, look at this. Oh, boy. The last interview you're going to see is with a very talented, very famous young woman. Some of the questions I asked her were hard-hitting, and she seemed to get a little emotional. Let's see. Rihanna, I read somewhere that you took biology class seven times because you didn't study or do your homework. Is that true? It was eight or nine, actually. Oh. It's eight or nine. Rihanna, it seems you taught us a lesson. Even though you didn't do well in biology class, you're still rich and famous. Is that the take-home message? That's not what I want to teach people. But again, people, you, I'm, I'm, I'm a human being, and people put me on a very unrealistic pedestal, and all these expectations. I'm not perfect. Also, it's pretty natural for that to be the first reaction. Okay. I hope you've enjoyed some of the clips I've shown you and can now appreciate just how difficult it is to define life. Peter, do you have anything to add? All right, hang on, hang on.
I'd like to welcome you to Mr. Kelly's class, wish you good luck this semester, and just let you know that if you're confused, don't worry about it because so is everybody else.